Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to the channel. Hope your day's been good, but better watch this video. So yes, I am again back with another one of the summaries of the one by Dolphins chapters. A lot to take in, but I think you guys understood it. So, I am doing chapter 11 today as one of you guys requested it before Monday, and Monday is like tomorrow. So yeah, I might not be able to do 12 and 13 because I have something important coming up on Monday. So I might be busy preparing for that instead of doing this because, yeah. Um, the person who I have to do this for is going to kill me. Like, okay, fine. Let's stop blabbering about me and continue this. So guys, before we get into this video, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, Turn on the post notification bell for all my newest videos. And leave a beautiful comment that makes my day. Even your requests make my day, so please leave a request. And I also encourage you guys to be open in the comment section. And kindly, please, I beg you, I'm begging you. I never beg anybody. I'm begging you to kindly suggest some other content, accept these summaries, something you guys want to enjoy. I will keep doing these summaries till the end of the novel, but please... Please request something other than these summaries because I'm so tired of filming them. And I think on the weekends I could like film some fun video instead of doing just summaries and summaries and summaries. So guys, enough of my blabbering. Let's get on with this video. Summary of chapter 11 of The White Dolphin by moi. Of course, who else writes these summaries? Ugh. Chapter 11. Mr. Anderson takes Kara's dad out of Felix's room so they can talk in private about Moana, leaving Kara with Felix. Felix is busy trying to play an online game. Kara starts the conversation by asking him why he acted rudely towards Daisy. He answered, explaining that he doesn't need someone to stand up for him. Let the bullies make fun of me. Mrs. Anderson walks in, holding a tray containing glasses of lemonade. She asks Kara about her family and expresses how annoyed she is with Felix always sitting on his computer. Mr. Anderson returns with Kara's dad to Felix's room and announces that he and Kara's dad are the only ones going for a trial run on Moana tomorrow as Felix has refused to join them. Mr. Anderson leads Kara and her dad out when Kara suddenly realizes that she doesn't have her jumper and goes back for it. Felix then expresses why they had to move. How much he misses London, where he had friends and had things to do in life. Kara realizes that Mr. Anderson is the only one interested in buying Moana, which lifts her spirits of him dropping the idea of buying it or Moana. So you guys can replace it. I think there's too many Moanas in here, so just replace it by buying it. Okay, so let me explain this chapter. It's a bit of a big chapter, and I had to add details to make it understandable for all of you guys not just me for all so yeah <clears throat> so you can when you write it in your copies or save it you can make changes to it according to how you want it so we're gonna start mr anderson is basically the person who called kara's dad and said that he was interested in buying lana um and then it turns out that mr anderson and Mr. Anderson's son is Felix, the boy who was rude to Daisy for standing up for him against bullies. So, yeah, not the best thing that could happen to Kara, but we can't do anything about it. Why do my notifications keep popping out during my videos? Oh, my God. Ugh, I'm too lazy to do these videos again and, like, or edit that thing, so I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, you see my notifications. Okay, so then... Kara starts the conversation, like, Felix is busy playing on his computer, and she starts the conversation by asking him why he was rude to her, uh, to Daisy, and he just explains that he doesn't need anybody to stand up for him. Then, uh, Mrs. Anderson walks in. Mrs. Anderson is Mr. Anderson's wife equals to Felix's mom. So, Felix, Felix's mom walks in and offers lemonade to Kara. She asks about her mom, her dad. Um, but she could, Kara couldn't completely tell about her mom because she was, like, stuck on words. <coughs> and then, like, every mother... I think every Asian or, like, brown mother goes about these things. Like, my child uses... 
her her phone or her or his phone and computer so much i'm so annoyed with it blah 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 yeah it goes on even if you're studying on your phone or computer they're just gonna be like i know what you're doing you're wasting time and we're like no mommy i need to do my work on here and they're like no i know what you're doing don't lie to your mommy and they were like yeah that blank space is what i'm like so okay then um felix uh, felix's dad and Kara's dad come in back into the room and mr anderson announces that he and Kara's dad are the only ones going to try test out moana and her capabilities and features blah 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 and Car- uh, and he asks um wait who was he yeah um, Mr. Anderson asks Felix if they he wants to join them, but he just refuses and he says, I can't and I don't want to. So, Mr. Anderson leads uh, Kara and her dad out. Like, he leads them to the front door to guide them out. When Kara realizes she left her jumper in Felix's room, she uh, goes back to fetch it. When That's when Felix... Um, explained how he misses London. They came from London to um, this place. And he explained how much he misses London and how much he hates being here. And this place is a big dump. And how he misses his friends and why they had to move. The re- there were two reasons why they had to move. One was that his mom thought that London was getting too dangerous. And his dad thought he needed some fresh air, like sea air. So that's why they were here in this dump, as he said. Um, then Cara, okay, so then Kara just realizes that none of the house members, except Mr. Anderson, is entrusted in Mona. Like, Felix doesn't want to be here. His mother is not even entrusted. So um, the only thing is that Mr. Anderson is the one entrusted. So she, like, her hopes lift lift up that maybe he won't buy Moana because his family members just aren't even interested in getting Moana and going out to sea. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next video, chapter 12, which I might be uploading today or might be on Monday. That just really depends when I do it and when I'm free. So yeah, bye!